coffee every morning. You know, it's part of the daily life. I'm sure most people here drink coffee every morning. But it's just something they do, something they need. Like, they don't like to think about anything twice. It doesn't really matter. And I'm one of those people, you know, I drink coffee every morning. I had it this morning. But whenever I get my cup of coffee ready, it means something different to me. And that's because of a uh, little feeling of an espresso maker. Uh, I'm sure lots of you haven't seen that before, maybe wondering what it could be. Um, basically, it was invented in Italy, that's where it's from, in the 30s, at a time that, um, a time where espresso was only for the upper class, and they'd have to go to the bars, the cafes, and uh, common households wouldn't have them. So Alfonso Violetti invented this because he was a man, like an engineer, he worked with Illumina. So with that invention, the common person could have the fine espresso that only upper class people enjoy. But anyway, so the way I came across this was also during my study abroad experience in Italy, which I happened to go to Teresa. And like everything else, everything was like, so different, so new. There's so many things that was so different from here. Like, like their washing machines were tiny, and the refrigerators were tiny, and like there's random things that were like, what is, what's this for? And that's one of them. You know, I saw them in everybody's kitchen, and I was wondering what's this little gadget for. But eventually, my curiosity got the better of me, and I, you know, played with it around, and finally figured out, hey, this is for coffee. So I found some coffee, and you know, figured out how it worked, and it became a routine for me. I, I enjoy espresso and I was like perfect. You know, I used to work at Starbucks, so that's kind of what like why I was inclined towards enjoying espresso. So um, I got the hang of it. You know, I made some every day, but unfortunately, some of my roommates, you know, they like they were kind of intrigued. Also, they saw me doing it. They're like, oh, what's this for? And eventually, you know, one of my roommates tried to make espresso themselves, but they weren't as successful as I was because they tried using instant coffee or instead of actual ground coffee and that, that was just a horrible mess. So as part of my experience in Italy, you know, it was an amazing experience, probably the best experience of my life. The fact that I use one of these little devices every day, you know, that became really important to me. It, like, it was like a symbol of, you know, like part of my experience or something I would never forget. And that played a part when it came time to like buy myself a souvenir. And I didn't have that much money to like go like buy shirts and a bunch of little toys and this and that. So the first thing I thought of was I want an espresso maker to take home with me. And that's definitely what I did. So I wanted to bring part of my daily life from Italy back home with me. So now every day in the morning when I get my cup of coffee ready and I put my espresso in it. It just reminds me of the amazing time I had, you know, all the memories I had, all the friends I made, all the amazing time I had. So, you know, it, it reminds me of like having to wake up early in the morning, um, three hours of sleep, you know, downing my espresso, or like staying up all night working on a project or an essay. And the same way that Violetti brought espresso to the common household, that little machine right there brings a little part of Italy to my everyday.